Hi everyone, it's Mary. I got my Studio Calico box in and the thing is is that I was waiting and waiting for it because usually it comes to my door but um, <laughs> my postman has now decided that he's not delivering anything at my door and he puts everything in my mailbox and we have one of those um, mailboxes where it's all together and we have to walk to the mailbox and um, we were away for a couple of days and so I didn't go I didn't realize my Studio Calico box was in there so I'm so happy and I know that this has already been seen um, and or posted on YouTube but uh, I'm gonna post it because you never know somebody may, may not have seen it so I'm going to do that and I'm really excited because this is the first time I've received one of these Studio Calico boxes. Usually I get the, uh, the it, 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 get it in a pizza box and it usually has one of those, um, I'm trying to find it, but it's, it was a, it was in a bag. <clears throat> now it's in one of these boxes and I love this box. It's so pretty. Anyhow, uh, let me open it up. And as you see, it has all this paper so let me just take that out stick it to the side I can use that for the Easter baskets um, I pl I'm planning on making some up for my nephews and nieces so that's exciting I love Easter okay um, so washi tape I love that um, the thing I love about Studio Calico is that they send me a lot of things that I would never purchase. Like, I, I'm quite frugal when it comes to my crafting supplies. I either have to have a good deal um, before I purchase it. So a lot of times I don't buy things. And I, I'm not that, um, I don't know what the word would be, but like, I, I don't take chances with things that I purchase, I always try to buy the, the sh things that I really, really would will use. So it's kind of nice to have somebody else send me things um, that may not be something that I would buy to try it out because I end up loving it. <coughs> Excuse me. So washi tape and it says together. I don't, know. I, um, don't know if I have time to open this out. Let me just see. And sorry. Okay, so this one is, uh, let's just open it up a little bit. And it says, today, together, remember this. And then it goes back to today. So I love that because um, I have something that I got from Smash. It was like, love this, fab, really, really, I really, really like this. And I use that quite a bit. So that's kind of neat. And then this one here is just stripes cute and then um, flares see what it says I love flares and I, I don't go out of my way to buy flares but I always use all the flares that I get so it says win and super that's great because um, my son does a lot of sports so that win would be a great thing to have now this is really pretty I don't know how I would use it in my Studio Calico uh, layouts or my Project Life layouts, but I'd love to see what you guys do or the people that have that or have this, see how they end up using it. But super pretty. I'll have to keep it away from my daughter. I wonder if you can actually use this in your hair because <laughs> ballerinas love these kind of things. So that's pretty. And some of these enamel dots, candy buttons it's called. And then more of these wooden veneer journaling cards. I the I got one last month and it was the ampersand and I used it right away because I just loved it. And then it says love this city and then this is like washi tape. So pretty so delicate too. I'm scared I might break it. And then Banana Fish Studios. 
I love all their stickers. I kind of don't want to damage it, but oh well, here it goes. And it's just, these are like tags, ampersand, and a typewriter that says noted. It says hello sunshine and live your life. Too cool. And if you see my video of my Project Life um, storage container, this is going to be a great place. I have a great place to put all my current Studio Calico items. So love that. And this is cute. It says Neverland. Studio Calico. I love the quality of their paper. It's so nice and thick. So cute. And I also, I love all of these. I have the teal, the red, and now this yellow. I love this um, alpha stickers. They're just the perfect size for Project Life. More stamps. And um, I showed you guys on my last video how I store all the Studio Calico stamps so that I can use it. And this is my favorite, all the 4x6 and um, the journaling tags. I love having the different things. I had lost my mojo or, I don't know, my crafting. I don't I just didn't feel like doing Project Life for a while there. And now I am so into it again. It's not even funny. I've been buying a lot of things and I've been working on it, so. Another great kit from Studio Calico. I love it. I, I had week 10 completed and I uploaded a video and now I've almost got week 9 done so I will upload that for you guys very soon. But um, if you guys have been on the fence on whether or not you should buy the kit, the monthly kit, I highly recommend it. Uh, there has not been a thing in there that I regret having. I love the Studio Calico kit. Um, the only thing, maybe these things are beautiful, but I don't know how to use it. I'll have to look at it. I mean, my daughter's a dancer, so I can definitely use this in a layout somehow. I just got to figure it out. So thank you, Studio Calico. I love everything. I am so glad I have this, and I can't wait for April's kit. So I just moved from my desk to where I work on my project life and as you see uh, this is my week nine and I just got a journal on it and then I'm ready to share it with you guys. But I wanted to show you that I have put away um, the current Studio Calico kit that I got and um, just so you can see if I can open this up with one hand which I may not be able to do. Uh, here, it's empty. I love this box and I'm keeping it because I know I can use it for something. Look at there's even a place to put a label. Love this box. But let me show you, I have shared with you this organizer that I got from the container store and it's on sale right now for $19.99 and I just love this thing. It has all my current things that I've received from Studio Calico and just some other embellishments that I love and I want to use. Um, now I have more items like I on the side here I have stickers from my kit and I also have four by sixes in here 
And then let me show you just one moment. This item here I got from Daiso, and it's not perfect. Like it doesn't um, see. I wish it was just slightly deep, deeper, so I can actually seal it. But what I do like about it is um, I can store my journaling tags in here and flip through it. And what I did, see, it actually is a container that has these grooves and um, the extra dividers from that kit that I was not, I didn't need, I stick them in here so that I can um, have it divided. It doesn't fit perfectly, but I'm sure I can um, get something that does. And that way I can go through all the journaling tags I have. Problem is it doesn't close perfectly, but it's okay. At least it's somewhat protected. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so that's where my extra journal, my 3 by 4 journaling cards are. That just gives me more room to, like, rummage through the stuff. But the current ones that I really want to use, I have them in here. So all the ones that I just, well, here's some of the small embellishments. This one here actually has nothing in it so I can throw that away but uh, this here is the wooden veneers and then back here just pull it out, are the journaling cards and what I'm gonna have to do is actually go through them because it's getting a little too thick so I can't really see them so I'll move some of the items in here the ones that I really want to use I'll leave it in here this here is all my three, four by sixes. As you can see, there's only a few, but they're the most current ones. So I want to try to use them. And I have some six by six cards, and I have some stickers that I want to use. Smashbook, it's all that other stuff that you've seen before. Those are the the little embellishments that I got in the March kit. And here are all the Banana Fish Studio tags that I got and as you see they're out here so that I'll remember to use it and then you know my alpha stickers from last month too are in there and some other alpha stickers that I want to use and then here's my CD case that you've seen before and on the other side here are the current a stamp that I got so I remember to use it and then here is this case here now <clears throat> my mini iPod cover came in this case and I'm just putting my flares in there and it's nice and tall so that I can remember that my flares are there and as you see that goes back there and it's just a it's a good organizer that reminds me that these are the current things that I want to use. And like I said, uh, this 3x4 journaling cards are too thick, so I'm going to go through them and pick out the items that, you know, that I don't think I'll be using that often, like this here I got from when I bought my contact lenses, and I love the cards. It says, we're not happy till you're happy, or sit back and relax and I like the color so I kept it in there because I want to use it but like this I don't really need to keep in there and here's another one of those <clears throat> I don't know I'm just gonna have to like this here um, I don't know I love them all <laughs> it's really hard it's like trying to you know get rid of some of your supplies but I'm not getting rid of it like this doesn't need to be in there this one doesn't have to be in there so I'm, I'm gonna have to weed through them I guess these don't have to be in there either since I've already used something like that so I'm gonna have to go through them I definitely want to use that but um, yeah I'm gonna have to weed through them and really 
choose it. So because it's only a limited space in there, but I do want to remember to use my current ones, and that's why. See, that's better. I can flip through it now. So these then, these items here, will go in here. And I'll just stick them, like, right here. I need to get some more of those dividers so that I have sticking up, but anyways. So that's that for now. It's not a perfect solution. I might actually just cut this top off so that I can just have that sitting out. We'll see. Uh, the other thing that I have that I wanted to show you was this. I purchased this from, uh, it was either Marshalls or Ross. And I think you guys have probably seen these. These are the snap-on containers. But why I really liked it was I went on Simon Says Stamps and I purchased more uh, wood embellishments. And I also went to Lawn Fawn and purchased some of their stuff. And I like how this container, they're so deep. So I can store all my wooden embellishments in there. And then the bottom here has another one and I've bought quite a bit so I, I will have lots more to put in here when I get my items but the this other bottom one I think that's probably why it was at Marshall's was it's missing the dividers and I actually don't mind it because um, I'm going to put some of the miscellaneous things that I can just rummage through there but I really like how deep the uh, spaces for each one of these and I like how they're clear and they snap together so they're easy storage and I can lay them out when I'm working to try to you know um, get some inspiration because I'll see everything but I am trying to go through my craft room and um, I'm trying to whittle down the things I have. I'm only trying to keep items that I really know I'm going to use and I love. So I'm trying to keep my area more tidy because it's just it's hard to work when everything's everywhere else because you don't see it all and then you don't you're not able to use it. So having this I absolutely I'm love gonna it. need one for another one for sure, and I might need one for my Filofax for all my sticky notes and my inserts and stuff like that. I just just love this. Also, just so you know, I discovered later after I did my video, this here, this item here, this container, it's actually oval or circular on the bottom and it's for tape so let me just go get washi tape to show you so this is where I store my washi tape it's just a clear container that I got from Dollarama for it was either a dollar fifty or two dollars I think it was actually a dollar to be honest and as you see I'm starting to get more washi tape than it fits so I'll have to either get another container like this or figure out another solution but I love clear acrylic containers or nearly clear and then this here is my <laughs> this used to be my Copic case this is where you store Copic markers but it fits the 4x6 perfectly I can rummage through all this stuff and this one here too and so I just put it, sorry, I just put it right here for now, along with this one. And then this here is a square clear container. And I just stick my glue in there just to keep it upside down. So I like to use the uh, glossy accent glue to glue down my things for Project Life and I also use it to glue down the clear plastic 
paper onto my CD so that I can see the print, so I can see what stamps they are. And glossy accent, the, the, uh, the glue is very good and it sticks quite well. So I use that. And that's basically what I use. I'm still loving this. I really am going to get another one or two. And also, I'm going to probably get some of their paper trays that go underneath it because it's just a great storage system. Definitely, if you guys are interested, uh, go online and purchase it because you can do that or drop by their store. But I don't know how long the sale lasts, so definitely be quick about it because after that, they're instead of $19.99, they're $24.99. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to do my video once I do the journaling of the week nine that I completed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.